is up guys it is Ash here today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a 3d clan PSD for yourself your team or any in just whatever you want to do with it make pop out logos whatever um but before I start I just want to say yes I said Ash me and DB1 are changing our names his name is Velo my name is Ash from now on so yeah let's get right into it so you want to go to file new You want to make your width 800, height 800, press OK. Wait for it to load. Then there should be uh, grid lines on your, the top of your uh, little, uh, I always get this messed up, like, so you could switch over like that your tabs it should be right under your tabs there should be one there and one right next to your tools so go up to the top one under your tabs bring it down to the middle it should lock just like that and then do it from the other side it should lock just to center it you know oh, there we go okay if it doesn't lock something's wrong with your photoshop or i don't even know what to do i'm sorry but anyways you're going to want to uh... grab a logo whatever logo you want to do um... doesn't matter just anyone. Um, and you're gonna, if you did it smaller or bigger, I just did 800 by 800, hopefully, follow directions. Um, just hold Control T to move it around, everything like that, you know. And uh, check it. And what you're gonna wanna do is duplicate it. So to do that, hold Control J. You're gonna wanna change the color of the one that you just duplicated so either double click or right click all, all the way up to blending options and you want to click overlay it should autom uh, automatically check it for you go to the color changing section <laughs> whatever you want to call it then go to a random color I'm just doing red for now then you want to hold control T so you can <clears throat> modify it or make it smaller and bigger but for right now you're going to want to make it small than it was, I guess you can say. And I'm just going to want to just make it a little bit smaller so you can make it 3D. It just makes it look more professional and better. I just, I guess you could say. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you want to check it, and you're going to want to <clears throat> move it below or no? Yeah, but under the main copy of the logo. So that one. And you're gonna go up back to the main logo or the main layer, go up to the opacity and just lower it. Then go down to your copied logo that should be a different color than your main one. Go to the pen tool, go to each corner so you can finish off the 3D section or, like, um, uh, you know, to give it the 3D effect. <laughs> but, uh, while I'm doing that, um, I'm just going to say, talk about some series that me and Vila are thinking about doing. So, we're going to start doing some series with this channel, make it more interesting. Uh, hopefully, both of us can get Destiny soon, and we can also get Advanced Warfare um, on the day that it came, com uh, came comes out, and uh, bring some content of that to you guys, if that made any sense. But anyways, um, also we're going to bring series from BO2, MW3, all Call of Duties, any other games, GTA, stuff like that. Just stuff that we like to do. Hopefully you like the same thing. Because if you don't, then you should probably unsubscribe. But um, anyways, we're thinking about doing like 1v1s, uh, I don't know, sniping, si sniping six mans, just regular search six mans, uh, trick shotting with bots, or stuff like that, you know, just simple... Um, series. Um, we'll try to bring different kind of things, such as set of videos, all that kind of stuff. We live in two separate places, so it'll be kind of hard right now for us to bring a video together, like IRL video, you know. But hopefully, we can do something special like that for like 2K or something. But I'm thinking way ahead right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But you guys should be pretty much close being done with uh, these should know what to do by then um 
And then once you're done with making the 3D, by the way guys, mine are going to be like crap connections because it's just a tutorial. I kind of want to do it fast for you guys. Anyways, um, what you're going to want to do is go back to the main copy, go to the opacity and put it all the way back up. So it gives it that nice 3D clean look, you know. Anyways, then you're going to want to, uh, I guess you could, uh, let's just do this first. So you want to duplicate your main logo, not the 3D layer, the main one. So you're going to want to hold Control J, it's duplicated, you want to right click, go up to blending options or just double click, it will take you to the same place. Then you want to go to color overlay, it should automatically check it for you. Then you want to go to the color, the, where you can change the color, go all the way up to white, press OK, and press OK again. Then you want to go in the little picture on the uh, layer, um, yeah, just on the layer, the little picture, and then you want to hold Control and click. Then these little dashes should go around. It should just look. Yeah, it should look just like this. Go all the way up to select. Go to modify. Go to contract. I'm gonna do four. Maybe that might be a little too skinny. Um. So I'm gonna go back. Go back up to select, modify, contract. Maybe six. Six probably looks good. Yeah, it looks perfect. All right. Then you want to hold Control X to make it so it looks nice nice stroke and also yeah it looks like that oh that's cool and then kapow looks even cooler then you're gonna want to go down to your main logo blending options so the one under the stroke the gray on mine the blackish gray and then you want to go to color overlay um make it not white but like a little bit dark gray but not too dark you want to go down to, or whatever color you want, I'm just doing a default colors for now. And then you want to go down to your 3D, which should be a different color, or another color, ah, not the same color as your main logo. And then you want to go back to color overlay, to change the color, then go down to a little darkish gray, like close to a black, so it looks like there's 3D, you know, like the effect, like kapow. Then you want to go to the stroke, which is the white outlining, you know, that you just got done making before that. Double click or go to blending options. You want to go to drop shadow. Um, you can mess with these settings, but for now, I'm just gonna do it my own way. So your distance zero, spread, 17 maybe, size. Let's see what that does. No, you want to go lower, maybe. Maybe five, so zero, seventeen, five, all the order. And you want to go click OK, zoom out, make sure everything looks fine to you, you know, all that shenanigans stuff. You want to go down to your background, which you're going to add some texture. Most people like it white, but add a little gradient, you know. Make a new layer, grab your paint bucket, make sure the color is black down the left corner, then click once, make it your whole background black. Grab the eraser tool, make sure it a is a blurry eraser tool, around 350, maybe I'm cranking it up 437, I don't know, somewhere around there, you know. And click it once, twice, three, four, five, six. Six times looks okay. Ah, six times looks okay to me. So I'm going to lower it to about maybe there, maybe just a little bit more erasing could go. Maybe a little less. <laughs> All right, lower it just a little bit more to about mm, 36. Looks fine, you know. Um, and then you want to go back up to your stroke. Then grab your text tool and drag it across, just like that. Uh, crank your text up to 80. Uh, I'm gonna make mine 90, just for uh, lulls. Anyways, you wanna do whatever name you want so so if you have the sore logo of sore obviously right now I'm doing den so den and uh you're gonna want to make it the same color as this maybe a little lighter maybe a little darker actually it's okay check it bring it down to about there right click go to blending options or double click take it to the same place then go to stroke oh click on the tab there we go it should be at three go to the color so you can change it put it all the way to white boom put drop shadow click on the tab and make it straight the angle up to about 
495, I don't know, I cannot, either way, it's fine. Um, distance, 9. Mm. Spread, 0. Size, whatever looks cool to you. I'm just going to do 18 for now. Um, what about that? No. Anyways, yeah. So, yeah, right there. Press OK. Um, you can add whatever you want to it. Um, you can have it look pop out. You can have a pop out logo. I'll do that for my second tutorial. Um, just a bunch of different stuff. I just did a v default version for now. Um, I'm going to move it up just a little bit so it gets a little more space, you know. Um, and for now, that is it, guys. I hope this really helped you, and that's how to make a 3D clan team, whatever you want to call it, PSD. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Done.